Good morning, Bath County High School, and welcome to another great year back here at Bath County High School. My name's Mr. Vincent, and I'm the junior U.S. history teacher, but I'm also one of the FCA leaders for the school. If you don't know what FCA is, it's Fellowship of Christian Athletes. Uh, we have meetings during the school year, but we'll get to those later when we start talking about club days. But what I do have is a very special after-school event for next Monday. Um, FCA, in cooperation with some of the local churches, sponsors a get-together called FCA Fusion. It's a fusion of different youth from around the, the county, and we're going to have an FCA Fusion pool party Monday night. Now, right after school from 4 to 6 is the middle school pool party. We don't want you there. That's going to be for 6th, 7th, and 8th grade, so if you have a 6th, 7th, or 8th grade little brother or sister, have them come to the FCA Fusion middle school pool party from 4 to 6. From 6 to 7, we're going to have a cookout for middle and high school. I'll uh, have lots of good stuff to eat. Uh, we'll have drinks, ice cream, stuff like that. And then from 7 to 9 o'clock at night, we're going to have the high school pool party. So next Monday night, 6 to 7 o'clock, we're going to have a cookout. From 7 to 9 o'clock, we're going to have a pool party. Um, if you have high school friends that you would like to bring, that's great. If you have little bitty kids and brothers and sisters, leave them at home. This is going to be for the high school students only, uh, but we'd love to see you there. Next Monday, 6 to 7 is the cookout, 7 to 9 is the pool party. Uh, we hope to see you there. Hope you have a great year. Good morning, Bath County High School. I am Manly. And I am not Manly. Wait. Today is Thursday, August 16th, and welcome to BCTV. All right, so today is the second day of school. Tell me something you learned. I learned that some teachers are very OCD about that red line going down the hallway. And some of you freshmen can stand upstairs. It's not just for the juniors and seniors. I guess that's interesting. So yesterday on BCTV, Jenna and JC talked about coming into the building as soon as you arrive at school. That's right. Students are not allowed to loiter. That means hanging out outside. I learned that yesterday. And they discussed important information for students who drive, like turning in a copy of your license, proof of insurance, and a description of your vehicle to the office before you can get a permit. And drivers, please follow all the driving rules. We do not want anybody hurt getting hurt on or off campus. They also discussed a lot of information about the dress code. There sure, are a lot of, there sure are a lot of rules about dress code. Yes, there are. But basically, if you're unsure about an item, just don't wear it to school. So what are we discussing today? Well, I thought today we would tell everyone about eating and drinking in the classroom. Well, that's a good idea. I am all for eating and drinking in the classroom. Well, that's all I have for today. No, have that's not what I meant. Tell everyone about the policy of eating and drinking in the classrooms. Oh. Well, food is not allowed in the classroom. Never. Never bring food in the classroom. Don't do it. And as far as drinking in the classroom goes, students are allowed to drink water in a clear plastic container, 24 ounces or less, or the Bath County School's water bottle. That means no cups, no glass, and no metal water bottles, just in a clear plastic container that you can see through. So you leave your gallon jugs at the house. This means just water. Students cannot put anything in the water and they cannot have sports drinks. Water only. That should be easy enough to understand. What else should we know? Uh, dare we tackle cell phones? Why not? It's not that hard. Uh, keep in mind, we're talking about all communication or entertainment devices such as cell phones, smart watches, and accessories that go with them like earbuds or headphones. Earbuds and headphones? That's something new? Exactly. Smart watches, earbuds, headphones, and all other electronic devices fall under the same rule as cell phones this year. Wow. So the permitted times to use electronic devices include arrival to school until 8.03, between class changes until the movement bell, during lunchtime and only in the cafeteria, and during break as long as you don't have break detention? Is that correct? Exactly. And you can't have them out or use them in a classroom unless the teacher gives you permission, and then you can use them for educational purposes, right? Yes. What about listening to music? I would say you can listen to music in music class, but yet it's still up to the teacher. But do not listen to music in class without asking your teacher just to make sure it's okay. Oh, what about sleeping in class? You know I love a good nap. Well, under no circumstance may you sleep in class. Students who are caught sleeping in class will be assigned time up in the classroom by the teacher. After all, the student returns to the seat. If they are caught sleeping again, the teacher will assign them break detention for each occurrence in that class. Okay, note to self, no sleeping in class. Well, that's all for today. Have a great day, and we will see you tomorrow. <laughs> 